A very good morning to all my dear students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and healthy. Students, in the previous video, we learned about equations and solve exercise 11.5. Question number 1. Today, we are going to continue exercise 11.5 and solve question number 2. So, let us solve it. Exercise 11.5 Question number 2 Complete the entries in the third column of the table. Students, in this question, we have to check whether the given equation is satisfied or not. And the values of the variable are given to us. Students, so in order to check whether the given equation is satisfied or not, we have to write the given value in place of given variable in the given equation. Students, if LHS and RHS is equal, we have to write yes, equation is satisfied. And if LHS and RHS is not equal, we have to write no. So, let us solve question number one and write the answer yes or no in the last column and complete the table. Sum A. Equation is given to us 10y equals to 80 which has two sides left hand side and right hand side. On left hand side 10y is given to us and on right hand side 80 is given to us. Also value of variable y is given to us which is 10. So let us check whether the given equation is satisfied or not and write the answer yes if left hand side equal to right hand side and no if LHS is not equal to RHS by writing 10 in place of variable y. Thus, writing 10 in place of y, we get 10 multiplied by 10. Students, note that we put multiply sign as we know that multiply sign is ignored when a variable is multiplied by a constant. Now, multiplying 10 by 10, we get 100. Students, we get 100 on LHS and on RHS, 80 is given to us. Since 100 is not equals to 80, this equation is not satisfied as LHS and
and RHS is not equal. So, we have to write no. Thus, y equals to 10 is not the root or solution of 10y equals to 18. Students note that as 10 is not the solution or root of the given equation. So, we have to take any other value. So, let us take another value given to us and solve some b. 10y equals to 80 is called an equation. Value of variable y is given to us 8. So, let us write 8 in place of variable y and check whether LHS equals to RHS and write the correct answer in the last column. Thus, writing 8 in place of y, we get 10 multiplied by 8. Now, multiplying 8 by 10, we get 80. Since 80 is equals to 80, that is left hand side equals to right hand side. So, we have to write yes. Thus, y equals to 8 is the solution of 10y equals to 80. Students, you have to remember that as y equals to 8 is the root or solution of 10y equals to 80. So, for any other value given to us, equation will be not satisfied. Thus, for any other value, for given equation 10y equals to 80, you have to write no without doing any calculations. Now, some C. 10y equals to 80 and y equals to 5. Students, as y equals to 8 is the root or solution of 10y equals to 80. So, y equals to 5 is not the solution of 10y equals to 80. Thus, we have to write the answer no. Students, find the root or solution of equation 4L equals to 20 by yourself. Now, some G equation is given to us. B plus 5 equals to 9. Value of variable B is also given to us 5. Let us solve b plus 5 equals to 9 and find the solution of 8 by writing the value of variable b given to us. Thus, writing 5 in place of variable b, we get 5 plus 5. Now, adding 5 to 5, we get 10.
since ten is not equals to nine, that is LHS is not equal to RHS. So we have to write no. Does B equals to nine is not the solution for B plus five equals to nine. Now some edge B plus five equals to nine where B equals to nine. Let us write nine in place of B and check whether LHS equals to RHS or not. Thus writing nine in place of B we get nine plus five. Now adding five to nine we get fourteen. Since fourteen is not equals to nine, thus answer is no. Now some I B plus five equals to nine, where B equals to four. Let us write four in place of B and write yes if LHS equals to RHS and no if LHS is not equals to RHS. Thus writing four in place of B we get four plus five. Now adding five to four, we get nine. Since nine equals to nine, that is LHS equals to RHS. So we have to write yes. Does B equals to four is the solution of B plus 5 equals to 9. Now sum J. H minus 8 equals to 5. Where H equals to 13. Let us write 13 in place of variable H. And check. LHS equals to write RHS or not. Thus, writing 13 in place of H, we get 13 minus 8. Now, subtracting 8 from 13, we get 5. Since 5 equals to 5, so we have to write yes. Thus, H equals to 13 is the solution of H minus 8 equals to 5. Now, some K. Equation is given H minus 8 equals to 5, where H equals to 8. As H equals to 13 is the solution or root of H minus 8 equals to 5. So H equals to 8 is not the solution or root of H minus 8 equals to 5. Thus, we have to write no. Now, some L. H minus 8 equals to 5, where H equals to 0. H equals to 0 is not the solution of 
h minus 8 equals to 5. As we know that h equals to 13 is the solution of h minus 8 equals to 5. Thus, the answer of this question is also no. Student, solve remaining sums by yourself. Thank you and have a good day.